I got one of these little Galaga arcade machines uh, and it stopped working. So naturally I took it apart to see what is inside, see if I could fix it. But I found it's not very easily repairable. So you can see the, the guts here. It's got a, you know, the display, one right in there. Uh, and there's the main processing board. But you can see it's got this little epoxy blob on it. So it's, it's not really very easily repairable. Definitely not worth uh, all the trouble for a $20 machine. But I did find a really easy way to fix it. And I thought that others might benefit from that knowledge. So first and foremost, you take this, this, this uh, main board and display, all the internal components, throw them away, worthless, not worth the trouble. Toss them aside and then uh, you'll just need a few minor components, starting with a Raspberry Pi 4. And you can see in here, I've got a new display so that I didn't have to figure out how to uh, interface with the old one. And then I've got all of the controls from the front, the buttons, the joystick, uh, also wired into the Pi. And then aside from that, like I said, just a few minor things. Arduino Nano 33 IoT, Raspberry Pi 3 single board computer, and an iRobot Create 3 little robots, the basically the vacuum cleaner without the vacuum component in it, and an ESPI for computer vision. So what did I do with all that? Well, here's the trick. I already have Galaga for the Atari 7800 uh, running on RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi 3. So I just made an FPV robot, drive it to that RetroPie installation, wherever it may be, then I hit the start button, and that switches between drive mode, where I'm driving the FPV robot on that screen, and game mode. So then when I'm seeing the game on that screen, because the robot's driven there, I can control it. Easy, right? Well, let's see it in action. <laughs> 